I'm Jonathan Horton, two-time Olympic gymnast, eight-time American Ninja Warrior, and a Hampton Elite athlete. So I've had a pretty long journey in, in athletics. I got started in the sport of gymnastics when I was four years old. Kind of a ridiculous story. I actually climbed a 25-foot pole in the middle of a Target department store. Went all the way to the top and everybody was kind of freaking out. And um, when I came down, my mom and dad basically were like, wow, our son's a freak. We should probably put him in some kind of sport like gymnastics. And so I ended up doing gymnastics from four until I was 32 years old. I made two Olympic teams, six world teams. I won two world medals, two Olympic medals. I was the national champion um, back to back, 2009 and 2010. And uh, I've also been a part of eight seasons of American Ninja Warrior, which was a blast. So I uh, just love doing things that are different, like, like gymnastics, Ninja Warrior. Would you say I'm a rare breed? Yeah, I'm a rare breed. I'd say my favorite part of Ninja Warrior is simple. It's flying through the air. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie at heart. I think it's one of the things that I loved about gymnastics too. And my favorite event was high bar in gymnastics because it's the high flying like X Games type of event. Ninja Warrior, it's like, all right, I gotta go from this point to this point. I'm 15 feet in the air and it's a 20 foot gap and I gotta fly, sign me up. So pro probably the worst part of Ninja Warrior is when you are in the air and you're flying, you're having a blast and you realize you're not gonna make it to the other obstacle. What people don't realize is when we film Ninja Warrior, it's always in the middle of the night because it looks cooler on camera and all the lights and stuff. And there's always water below, right? Well, that water is cold. And when you're in the air and you realize you're not gonna make it to the next obstacle, all you're thinking is, oh crap, I'm getting wet. So for both gymnastics and Ninja Warrior, there are some distinct differences in the necessary strength required. I would say like in gymnastics, you need like crushing strength in your hands. I mean, we're flying up over a high bar, 15 feet in the air, and then you have to come down and grab it and hold on to that thing and not fly off. But in Ninja Warrior, you don't need that as much as you need the endurance to just be able to hang forever, which is why a lot of the Ninja Warrior athletes, part of their training, and it's miserable, is building your just hang strength. Whenever I was like, really at the prime of my Ninja Warrior career, I was able to hang for like 10 minutes straight. And your, your forearms are just like crying. But it's what you have to do if you wanna get through a course. What you see on TV and social media is a final product, but there's such a long journey to what you're seeing at that moment. And I think the best advice that I could give anybody is to remember, you don't have to be the most gifted and talented person in the world to eventually arrive at that final moment that you're seeing me in. I thrive on the ground. I enjoy that part of the training. Oftentimes, a lot of people are just looking for that instant gratification. You get super motivated for a moment. You decide, I wanna get fit, or I wanna maybe lose weight, or I wanna get lean, whatever it is that your goals are. A lot of people will put a plan together and they'll go blow it out right away, and you burn out. The last thing you want is burnout or injury. It's not about learning quickly, it's about learning it right and, and, and staying safe. If you do it properly and you take your time doing it, it's something that will last for a long time. Fitness to me is this. It's less about being super fit and strong. And it's more about being in control of yourself. And I think that by conditioning yourself and understanding what you're capable of, knowing how far you can push. You learn how to control yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically in the process. And I think it's really important for everybody to give themselves that opportunity to gain that understanding and control of their own body. You gotta love arm day. I love doing arms, biceps, triceps. Um, I hate legs. Don't like doing leg day at all. My wife has always told me that I'm kind of built like a, like a triangle. Through Hampton, what I'd like to portray to people is that anybody can do this. Anybody can get in shape, take care of themselves, do what's right for their, for their, their mind and their bodies. And you don't have to be an Olympic athlete to do it. You don't have to be an American Ninja Warrior to do it. Get fit, take care of yourself. What I love about Hampton is just how 
to me how raw it is. Hampton isn't trying to, you know, have any fluff or be anything that it isn't. One of my favorite ways of working out is like feeling like I'm Rocky. And when I'm using this, the Hampton equipment that I have, I feel like I'm Rocky. It's built for me, it's built for the user, it's comfortable, easy to use, high quality, it's functional, and I can't imagine anything being any better. My favorite Hampton product is the Fixed Curl Dura Barbells. Always wanted some of those. They are amazing. You can use them for so much. Obviously for curls, for tricep extensions, you can do skull crushers with them. There's just a, a ton of uses for them. And one of the things that I like about the curled bars is it's easier on the wrist. Instead of a straight bar, um, when you got that curl, it's a little bit easier to activate the bicep and it doesn't hurt the side of your wrist so much. So it's just a great product. This is Hampton Fitness. Be a rare breed.